Let's get it on. Some people find it difficult to get things going, and it doesn't have anything to do with the person they're with. Sometimes it's just a dysfunction. Sexual dysfunction is a condition characterized by problems in one or more phases of the sexual response cycle. The sexual response cycle refers to the four stages, arousal, excitement, plateau, orgasmic, and resolution. All these phases are necessary for sexual functioning and a sexual experience. Sexual dysfunctions usually fall under four major categories, disorders of sexual desire, interest, arousal, orgasm, and sexual pain. However, the most common ones deal with sexual desire and arousal. Examples of common disorders include orgasmic dysfunction, dyspareunia, and premature ejaculation. However, today we'll be focusing on two, hyperactive and aversion. Both conditions lie on the opposite ends of the sexual attraction spectrum. The first sexual disorder is sexual hyperactivity. This means that individuals have an unusually high sex drive, like higher than your average. You might wonder how is that possible, but it's true. Unfortunately, sexual hyperactivity can lead people to have multiple sexual partners or engage in problematic pornography use. As defined by the American Psychological Association, sexual hyperactivity is extreme frequency of sexual activity or an inordinate desire for sexual activity. This means that a person can experience excessive worries or thoughts around sex, which includes sexual thoughts, fantasies, or behaviors. Sexual hyperactivity takes desire to a whole other level. It produces feelings of euphoria or an overwhelming excitement for sexual activity or anything related to sex. It's like a revved up engine or a wildfire that can't be stopped. These euphoric feelings can cause compulsive or impulsive behaviors, which can lead to risky sexual activity. These risky activities push the boundaries of safety and often put the individual in dangerous situations. These behaviors can be disruptive or distressing if the individual is in a relationship. Although it is not part of the criteria, this disorder has been linked to people with ADHD. However, more study and research is necessary to explain the link between both conditions. The association between ADHD and hyperactive sexual disorder is endorphins. Post-orgasmic and during the resolution phase of sex, endorphins flood the body, providing a feel-good calm. This calmness helps control the restlessness many people with ADHD deal with. But this doesn't mean that hyperactivity and ADHD are mutually exclusive. There are other factors that cause hyperactive sexual disorder. Hyperactive sexual disorder is also linked to other psychological conditions. For example, addiction or impulse control disorders that may have underlying medical conditions. At the opposite end of the spectrum of sexual dysfunction relating to arousal is sexual aversion. Sexual aversion, sometimes called hypoactivity, refers to an unusually low sex drive where a person can lose all interest in sexual activity. If we take the revved up engine analogy, sexual aversion is like an engine that refuses to turn on. Interest in all sexual activity vanishes. People can experience low libido due to medication, but sexual aversion is something entirely different. The American Psychological Association defines it as a negative emotional reaction to sexual activity, causing an active avoidance of it. Sexual aversion can cause distress in the individual or their partners, since an individual can experience intense feelings of disgust or anxiety when it comes to sex. While it usually applies to all sexual activity, it can also be specific to some activities or some partners. Although sexual aversion disorder was listed in the DSM-5, it is no longer listed in the DSM-5 since there is not much research supporting it. Feelings that characterize this condition are negative emotions such as anxiety, distress, and even revulsion surrounding or relating to sexual activity. These feelings can impede or hinder the engagement of sexual intimacy in a relationship. There are various factors that can lead someone to develop sexual aversion. For example, traumatic experiences, cultural or religious beliefs, and even psychological issues. This condition is often seen in people with depression, but can sometimes arise as a side effect of medications. Antidepressants and heart medication usually reduce sex drive. But this condition was also prevalent among people with ADHD. Although incidences of sexual hyperactivity disorder were much greater, studies did also find that individuals with ADHD experienced sexual aversion or hypoactivity. Sexual disorders vary according to the situation, partner, and what you're currently dealing with. 
There will be times when your overall well-being, including your mental health, affects your desire to engage in sexual activity. And experiencing a disorder does not mean that there's something wrong with you. Most cases of sexual disorders are not lifelong and can get better with treatment. If your mental health has affected your sexual activity, reach out to a licensed mental health professional. We hope you've learned more about sexual disorders. Let us know in the comments below if and how this video has helped improve your well-being. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Till next time. Are you looking for a cuddly companion that brings positivity and mental wellness to your daily life? Get your very own Psy. The lovable plushie is here to brighten your days. It embodies the spirit of Psych2Go and it serves as a reminder to prioritize your mental well-being. Its green leaf symbolizes growth, renewal, and the importance of self-care, whether it's for yourself or as a thoughtful gift for a loved one. Psy is ready to be your snuggly friend through all of life's ups and downs. Buy your Psy plushie today. Link is listed in the description box.